Thank you for joining us at ChristianPhotoshops.com. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this image right here. It is an image of a grass field on top of the pages of a book with a pretty generic background. So this will not take very long. It's very simple and we'll guide you the whole way. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial and it's going to be on adding grass to the pages of a Bible or a book. Um, we've done this picture a lot in the past. Um, here's a pic here's an old picture we've taken of a Bible with a grass field and there's a road going on the Bible. Um, another one we did was um, have a Bible with a grass pathway leading up to a cross. A um, more recent one we've done is uh, my wife is laying in a grass field and we put the grass field on top of a Bible. So that goes along with Psalm 23. And uh, we've done a lot of these pictures where we add grass on top of the pages. And um, we've had a lot of questions about that so we figured we'd do a tutorial to show how we did that. Um, for this uh, tutorial you're going to need four different pictures. We've got a picture of the sky. Um, Nothing more complicated than just going out and taking a picture of the clouds in the sky. Uh, this picture is going to be blurred later in the um, Photoshop, so don't worry about getting the perfect sky picture. But a picture like this would be great. Uh, we need a picture of grass, obviously. Um, this is just a field, um, just a large grassy field. You can go out to a park or your yard or wherever and just take a, a nice picture of uh, a grass field. Try to take it at eye level. Um, don't don't get really high and shoot down try to get your horizon about at your eye level so that way you'll get plenty of at grass at the right perspective uh, we obviously need a book for this picture uh, for uh, what we did was we just have an old book uh, just got this at the thrift store and um, we put it on a black piece of card um, poster board got it from Walmart um, the background is also very blank and it's very helpful when you put an object on a blank background like a white piece of poster board or a black piece of poster board it just makes it really easier to cut it out as opposed to putting it on something with a really busy background so that's our book picture um, and then finally we're going to just need a texture and uh, this is just like a picture of concrete or just some kind of rough texture and that'll be f for the surface of the picture so I've got my canvas open. My dimensions are 5,000 by 4,000. That's pretty high. Um, we do all of our pictures in very high resolution because all of our we take pictures um, with a high quality camera, and all those pictures are in high resolution. So um, we have our canvas in high resolution. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll take the book picture, and we'll just go ahead and put it in our canvas. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the book completely from the background. We do not want this poster board. We don't want that poster board. We just want to remove it from the background. There's many ways to do that. You can use the um, lasso tool. You can use the uh, quick selection tool. You can use the pen tool. There's a lot of things you can use. Um, for this one, I'm just going to do the quick selection tool. So it's your button right over here, the quick selection tool, and I'll change the size maybe to like 10 pixels or something like that I think that'll be good and all you got to do is just essentially just draw with your mouse the parts that you wanted to select and Photoshop does a really good job of selecting all the pixels that are attached and it stops at the black background so if the background was very busy or if it was the same color as the book um, Photoshop would have a lot harder time but since the black creates a very strong contrast between the the book and the background Photoshop does an excellent job of selecting the book so in just a couple of seconds we've already selected the book like that what I'm going to do now is hit my mask button down here and what that does is it erases the background and leaves what was in that selection and you can go back and fix it if Photoshop messed something up you have your mask all you got to do is paint um, in this case if I painted black on it that would delete part of it and if I painted white on it that would add something back so if I wanted to add the background back or whatever um, but it looks like I did a pretty good job what I'm going to do is go ahead and 
uh, right click on the mask do apply layer mask and you can see the edges of the book are a little messy right there they're a little uh, jagged and we'll fix that real quick too there's a couple ways to do that what I do I like to do is first go to image I'm, I'm sorry go to layer go to matting defringe and I'll do my pixels at about three pixels okay and I'll take care of a few of the pixels and then what I want to do is I want to um, make the book slightly smaller to get rid of those edges so go ahead and control click your layer you have these little marching ants all over the book go to select modify contract and we're going to contract it by about three pixels also there you go and all that did was it moved all of those marching ants inward three pixels hit your mask tool down here okay then apply your mask and finally one more thing we're going to do control click the book go to select modify and we'll do smooth and we'll do about 10 pixels for that one and then mask it and then apply your mask and see we are much more smoother on the bottom alright zoom out again we have our book we don't have a, the, the book is just floating on a white background right now so that doesn't make a lot of sense so um, just we'll add a surface later but just to make it look a little bit more realistic what I'm going to do is just paint a quick shadow underneath it so just take your brush tool do a low opacity maybe 10% uh, maybe a little bit more than that make sure your layer is below the book And just draw a quick shadow. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. The closer you are to the book, the darker the shadow is going to be, obviously. Um, and you can lower your opacity if you want to. All right. So we have our book. It's sitting on a... Um, I don't know what it's sitting on right now, but it's on a white background. It's got a shadow. Another thing you can do, uh, um, you can make a... Just fill the background to a different color if you don't want to look at that white. Maybe even a gradient. Um, maybe just like a black and white circular gradient. Just like that. Just so the it's not you're not staring at a white screen the whole time. All right. So we've got our we've got our book on a white background. Now what we're going to do is add the grass to it. So before we go and get the grass what we need to do is we need to figure out where we're going to put the grass so the most common sense place to put it would be on the top page of the book so this page right here just this page not all these pages down here but just the top page and also on the other side this page over here so what we need to do is we need to select all of that same thing we can try this we can do the quick selection tool we just want this white part of the book Make sure you're on the right layer. There we go. So just draw. There you go. Just draw on this page right here. We only want this page. We don't want the spine. We don't want all those other pages. We just want this top white part of the page. And I'm using the quick selection tool. Okay. And you can see sometimes the quick selection tool doesn't work perfect. It it added part of the the spine that I don't want so all you gotta do is go to your like your lasso tool and click up here to remove the selection and then you can just erase that selection that you don't want and if you mess this part up don't worry about it because what we're gonna do later you can quickly fix this but get a, a a pretty good selection of the pages okay so this is going to be our left page we're going to do the pages one at a time the left page and the right page I have the selection right here I'm going to make a new layer I'm going to fill it with black or any color you want to and just rename that to left page now we need to do the exact same thing over here on the right side 
So just make a new layer, get your quick selection tool, and then we'll paint on this page. Oh, make sure you're on a your book layer. And just paint with your mouse on this page right here. Alright, that looks pretty good except it's added some parts we don't want. So just take your lasso tool on the negative part of it and get rid of the parts you don't want. Okay, and we need to add back this part right here. Okay. So we've got a selection of the right page. So on your new layer, go ahead and fill that to black also. And just rename it to right page. Okay, so we have two, two pages. We have the left page and the right page. And they're both filled with black. So now we can go and start adding the grass. Go to your grass layer. This is a picture of the grass I used. And if you notice, the, I took the picture of the grass at eye level. And more or less, the book was taken at eye level too. And this is important to to make sure you take a picture of the book and the grass at the same perspective. Because if you take a picture from ground level of the grass, and then you take a picture of the book looking down at the book, the perspectives are not going to match up, and it's not going to look uh, very realistic at all. So make sure your perspectives are about the same. Um, in this case, it's eye level for the field and about eye level for the um, for the book. All right, to your grass layer, before we uh, move the grass on, I'm going to go ahead and change the brightness. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. And then I'm also going to change the vibrance and make it just a little bit more more colorful. Just add a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation. Um, and then I'm going to sharpen it. So just go to um, sharpen, unsharpen mask. And we'll do about two pixels at about 100%. Okay, so there's our grass layer. You can go and flatten that image. Uh, we don't need the background. We don't need the mountains or the trees. So what you can do is just take a tool right here. Um, your uh, rectangular tool selection tool and just copy that part of the grass and go back to your book and then paste it and so here's our grass here's our grass layer that we're going to add to the book and what we're going to do is we're going to do one page at a time so let's go ahead and start with the left page I'll go ahead and turn that one on so there's our left page our grass I'll go ahead and rename it to left grass that's right above left the left page. So what we want to do is we want to clip it to the left page. So all you have to do to clip it is Control, Alt, and G. And what it does is it clips it to this black layer right here. So everything underneath it is locked to that layer. And actually, before we clip it, to unclip it, all you got to do is Control alt g also. So that clips it, unclips it. Uh, before we add it to the book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. We need a, like a small part of the grass. We don't need all of the grass. So we'll take about this part right here and just use that. That matches up a little bit better. Okay, so clip it to your page, Control alt g Zoom in a little bit. All right, we've got our grass right here. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. All right. And there it is on the page right there. Now, there's one thing you're going to notice real quick. Here's our grass layer. It's nice and flat. This is on a flat piece of land right here. But our page is curved. It goes up. From the left, it's down on the left, and it goes up on the right, and then it curves straight down. 
So that does not match at all. So what we're going to do to fix that is while you're on your grass layer, go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. And what we're going to do is we're going to warp the picture so it matches more of that curve. So just use your warp tool, you know, kind of bring down the left side because it's lower and then bring up the right side and at the very edge of the right you can kind of tuck it in a little bit and that way the grass is going to more match the contour of the book click your check mark when you're done and let's show what that this is what it looks like unclipped so it's really funky looking unclipped but then when you clip it to the page it looks like it more matches the edge of the book Alright, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the right side of the page now. So let's go back to our grass picture. And we don't need a full uh, horizontal line of it. Well, we just get a, a portion of it. So we'll just go ahead and copy that part. Go to your book page picture and do this. Same thing. We're going to clip it. We're going to clip it to the right page. Let's make it a little bit smaller so it matches the uh, the grass on the left side. Okay, that looks good. And then um, what we're going to do the same thing we did with the left side. We're going to warp it using your warp tool. Just kind of bring this side down a little bit, this side up. Click your check mark, and that looks pretty good right there. So, um, one quick note before we move to the next part. Um, here's our our picture of the grass that we just we just warped. And one very important thing is, see the edge of the book right here. We're going to want to add little grass blades right here, and so we need to make sure that this grass goes over the page if that makes sense you'll see it in a second but don't don't crop it so it's just like that just on the edge because we need to add grass to it a little grass blades later so go ahead and clip that right there Oops. clip that to the page and then we'll make that one visible again and what we're going to do is the edges are very very straight they're very very um, you know, they're very smooth. Um, they don't look very realistic. They don't look like they're actually on the page. They look like they're just like a picture of grass. Um, so what we're going to do to make that look a little bit more realistic is we're going to make that page actually have more of a shape rather than a rectangle. It's going to have a grassy shape. Very quick way to do this is we'll start. We'll start with the right page. Your grass layer is clipped to this black layer. So everywhere the black layer is, the grass layer is. So if you made the black layer, let's go to the black layer, and if you drew, you made the black layer bigger, and you drew it over here, the grass is going to go there. If you drew it over here, it's going to go there. If you drew it over there, etc. Wherever you make that black layer, that grass layer is going to follow because it's clipped. So what we can do is we can make little grass blades on the edges like that but instead of drawing them by hand we'll let Photoshop do it so to do this Photoshop has a grass brush just go to your brushes go down here and it's this one right here it says 134 and it's just a little grass blade and all you're going to do is just draw. You can make it smaller. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Make it about 100. All you got to do is draw little grass blades on that black layer. And so it's making the black layer bigger. And the grass layer on top is following it. It's clipped to it. And there you go. So now the background, instead of real flat 
level grass, you have these little blades popping out. There's also another brush right beside it. It's this one right here. It's a it's a single blade, and so you could just make little random single blades throughout here. Um, when we get to the edge of the book, and we're going to the to the right, we're not going up and down. We're going to the right. To do that, if you just kept drawing down here, all the blades would go straight up in the air. We don't want that. Um, so what we would do is go to your brush panel. Um, if you don't have your brush panel, you just go to Windows and Brush. And right here on your brush tip shape, all you got to do is revolve this thing right here, and it moves your your grass in a different direction. So we want it more like this direction. And we want it a little bit smaller. And then so all you got to do... Do it like that. And if you want to go even further east and west, then you can do that. Okay. And then when we get to the bottom, we want it to go, um, we want them to go down. So just keep moving your little wheel here. And just draw it like that. Okay, we won't do any in the center because there's going to be another page of grass, so there's no real need to do any right there. Okay, you can also add a couple of those single blades in here just to give it a little bit more randomness. Okay, so let's do the exact same thing to this page. So get your, your grass tool. Try to keep it about the same size. We did about 100 for the back. And then just draw. There you go. Just draw your grass right here. Try to, Don't make a straight line. You know, make it, make it look a little bit, you know, not perfectly symmetrical. When we get to the edge of the book, go to your brush tool. Rotate it this way. And then when we get to the front of the book, just keep rotating so it goes downward. Okay. All right. So there you have grass on your book with little... Okay, to make it a little bit more realistic, what we're going to do is we're going to add some shadows to the book. So first thing we're going to do is let's let's go ahead and group these layers. So let's make a group down here, and let's put all of the page layers in there in that group. And so if you turn off the pages, off this group, all the pages are gone. What we're going to do is we're going to add a shadow. If you notice, well, it's harder to notice on here, um, but there would be a shadow that is created between the two pages. So what we'll do is we'll create a layer right above the group. You can call the group pages. And we'll create a group right above it and go ahead and clip it. And we'll call this page shadows. And get you a, a nice round brush. Um, we're going to do black. And you can make your opacity, we'll do our opacity maybe like 25, 26%, something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint just a very easy um, shadow right between the books. So the pages would cause just a small shadow about like that. And then I'll make my brush a little bit smaller and then make one right in the center. And that's probably a little too dark, so all I'll do is um, just lower the opacity down a little bit. Okay, so here's without the shadow, here's with the shadow. So it just makes it look a little bit more realistic, like it's actually there. 
Another thing we want to do is underneath the, the uh, pages, all these little grass blades would call shadows too. And so make a new layer and we'll call this one grass shadows. And this one will have to be on the book. So we want to go ahead and clip that to the book. So everything we draw will be on the book, but nothing else. And so all we're going to do, just take a small brush, you don't have to be perfect with this, and just draw a little black shadow underneath this grass. Don't make it a straight line, you know, make it kind of squiggly. You can start off with it really black at first, and then we'll, we'll lower the opacity. But just a nice little line right there, and then lower your opacity maybe to like, you know, 25 to 30%, something like that. And so it looks like the grass is actually hanging over the edge. You could be more um, perfect with it if you wanted to like draw little little blades of shadows down here. Um, we're not going to do that for t this tutorial, but if you wanted to spend more time on it, you could you know, just draw little gray shadows down here that are a little bit more defined. Um, but I think that looks good for now. Okay, so we could call it quits there we got our grass on the Bible but it's just kind of floating on the background so let's go ahead and put it on something go to your texture file let's go ahead and move that in to the um, your project put that above the background so we have our texture right here above the background and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into like a surface almost like a, a table so fill it to the width of your picture we're going to zoom out pretty good for this one. Pull it down maybe to right there, just right above the book. And now hold your control key and go to your bottom corner and pull it to the right. And then go to, hold the control key again and go to the other corner and pull it to your left. Okay, and then click your check mark. Okay, and we might actually, let's lower all of these a little bit, and let's lower that. Okay. Alright, so now the Bible is kind of sitting on this texture. It could be, um, it could be a road, it could be a table, it could be the floor, it could be whatever you want it to be. Now that shadow that we made earlier, that was just a kind of a, just a placeholder. Let's go ahead and clean that shadow up a little bit. So create a new layer above the background. And what I'm going to do is create a shadow by drawing a shape. Just use your polygon um, lasso, tool, lasso tool. I'm just going to draw a shape Kind of like that. Okay. And then you can fill that with black. And then what we're going to do, that shadow is obviously too dark, too harsh. So just go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and do a really big blur. Maybe like over 100 pixels. And then make a mask. Do a low opacity, and then just kind of paint away that shadow a little bit. We don't want it that harsh, but we do want some kind of shadow. Okay, so that's our light source shadow, and then make another shadow on top of, a new layer on top of it, and just take a small brush and paint a small line right where the page, or uh, the book touches the surface, and that's gonna be our surface shadow, which is gonna be a lot darker than our other shadow. And if you go over on the edge, just make a mask and clean it up a little bit. Okay, so it's on the surface. Let's go ahead and create a, uh, the sky background. So go to your sky picture. And then you're going to put this above the... Um, we'll put it above everything. Okay. Actually, put it below... Put it below the, uh, I'm sorry, put it below the um, 
your texture picture. And then we can shrink it just a little bit, maybe like that. Okay, now we're zoomed in on the Bible right now, so the background actually would not be this perfect. It would be more blurry. So what we would do is just go to your blur filter and just Gaussian blur it. Maybe like a hundred pixels, give or take, whatever, whatever you think looks right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and crop this. And one other thing you can do is the edge of the table is very, very sharp. And what you could do is just um, so your um, your texture file, this one right here. If you just wanted to blur the edge of it, you could just take your blur tool and just paint a little blur on the end of it so it's not quite as sharp as it goes off into the background. Alright, one quick adjustment. Our book layer does not look right. It looks very bright. The light source is behind the book going this way. Uh, one quick way to fix that, just make a new layer above your book um, get you a black brush um, with a low opacity and just kind of paint down here on the edges. Just kind of darken it up. Make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay. Same thing with the grass. Um, you can create a layer above your pages and um, what you would do is actually create an adjustment layer above your pages, maybe like uh, curves. And then what we'll do is we'll make the back of the grass dark, kind of like that. And then on your mask, all you got to do is erase the front part of the grass. So you're erasing that curves part of it. There you go. All right, so that's what it looks like. This is what it looked like a minute ago, and now we just add a few lighting, and it looks like it, it belongs just a little bit better. And there you have it. That's pretty much how we add grass to the edges of a page. So if you want to do something similar, you've got the tools necessary. We'll be providing a link to all of the pictures that we used, all four of the pictures that we used for this tutorial. So you're welcome to practice with these and see what you can do. And um, use your imagination. See if you can add other things to the, the top of the grass. Maybe a person walking or maybe a tree or water or anything you want to add to that. Um, so just use your imagination. Use the tools you learned. Um, if you have... Have you, if you've done any of these tutorials, we'd love to see your work, so feel free to comment or post on the, um, the comment section. We would love to see those, and uh, we hope you learned something today. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorials, just um, contact us, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But for now, we appreciate it. Have a great day.